Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we're going to do part four of this page we're working on here. Going to do the leaves and a little bow on this little mouse. And we're going to use some green tones. So I'm going to start off with the earth green and ivory for the highlights. Chrome oxide green and pine green for the dark. So I'm going to get the camera down and we'll get started. Okay, so we'll start up on the top up here and we're just going to highlight some areas here with the ivory first. And then the tips of these. And I'll do a couple of leaves but not too many and I'll do the rest off camera because we kind of want to get the mice done on this video too. And I'm going to put this little baby down here. <laughs> okay. We're going to go in with the earth green next. I'm going to go down this side and bring that down to the main stem. And bring the color up to the ivory. So how are you all doing today? I hope you're all well. I don't think I put any on that, but I could put this color in anyway. Okay, then we'll bring in the oxide, chrome oxide green. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to come down those lines, staying a little closer to the edge here. And then down in here. Then we're going to bring in the last color. Get a nice sharp point on that. And this is the pine green. 
I'm going to darken this area down here a little bit more. Then we're going to bring in the black or brown. Let's see. What do we want to bring in? I think I'll bring in the brown because we want our stems to have some brown in it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to bring in some walnut brown here. I'm going to add it into the stem from a little thorn in the darker area here. Bring it right up into the brown. Or the red, I meant. <laughs> Shadow this area here. And then down in here, we're going to darken it down in the base. Up in this curve. Okay, we're going to take it up into this one. Too. I know we haven't done much work on it, but we're going to get the brown in there. Okay, and then go back in with the lightest green, which is the earth green. Finish all that shading in there. Back in with the chrome oxide green. And there we go. If you want, you can go back in with a little bit of ivory just to make that highlight shine a little bit more. Okay, that's how we're going to do every single one of these leaves. So what I'm going to do is go down to this little mouse and show you how we're going to do the bow. Same colors. So I'll take the ivory and put it in the areas that I think should be highlighted, which is just here and there. I'm going to sharpen up the earth green because it's getting a little dull here. Put it down next.
chrome oxide green. Maybe I should sharpen all of these. <laughs> this is a small bow. And then go in with the pine green. A little bit of the brown, the walnut brown. Back in with the earth green. And the ivory where you want it lighter. And that'll bring the green down on that side of the page. And we'll have all these done. And then we have a little green leaf down here at the bottom of the page, which gets down the same color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all the leaves off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're done with all the leaves. And I'm going to work on the mice. <laughs> I did add a little of the green gold. <coughs> Excuse me into some of these leaves up here just to brighten one side up a little bit. They looked a little um, dull to me, so I thought I'd just brighten them up with a little bit of that color. I added it on all the leaves and a little bit in these little um, buds just to add a little brightness. Okay, which mouse? I'm gonna figure out which mouse I wanna work on. Mm. I'll probably do this little guy here. So I'll get it down and we will get to that work. Okay, here we go. We're going to use cool grays. So this is the lightest one, which is cool gray uh, one. And we're going to lay it down here. Remember this beadwork here is all going to be done in the gold along with some of the stickles. So it doesn't matter if I go over it a bit. I can erase it. <laughs> He's a cutie pie. And then his tail. We're going to bring some of that gray down into his tail. Kind of going in the direction of the hair a little bit. I kind of want the white cheeks here, so we're going to darken that a little bit. Okay, next color in, we're going to use the cool gray number two. This ear is really close to his head. I'm not really liking where his eye here. It should be back a little bit. So we'll fix that. A 
is a little nebulous. I'm going to get some hairlines in there, so what I'm doing is turning my pencil and making sure the sharp edge touches the paper. And go kind of in the direction that you want the fur to go. Next one is three. Next one is four. Well, this is probably as dark as we're going to go. I might bring a little black in here. I really want a sharper point on that. So you want to bring out some of these hairs here. Give them a little fluff. down the tail. Okay, grab a little black.
grab a little peach color. Cinnamon. Do the inside of the ears. And the nose. I'm going to go over the other mouse and put it on the inside of the ears. And on the nose too, so it's the same color. Okay, then we're just going to like darken him up a little bit here and there. He makes smaller strokes. He has shorter hair, longer. He can be fluffier. Your choice. And we have a light gray in here. Make sure his nosy stays a lighter color. I'm going to take some of that cinnamon and do their feet too. And I'm going to get the other guy too while he's down here. Just want to make sure I get him the same. Just cinnamon on there. Get a few more strokes in here. This here is number four, and we're going to shadow under that ear. Shadow under that ear. Get that little nosy a little better. Right up there. And go down in between these. Where the chain is. Bring some of that color down. Okay, now we're going to bring in the eraser. Since I get the little tip out. There we go. 
Gotta make sure that um, his ear shows. We're gonna add a little extra. Sorry, hair lines <laughs> with the eraser. Just accent them a little more and then just take in your darker color and go back over some of those. There he is. That you took out too much with the eraser. And just go over them again. Just gives them a little bit more uh, texture in his fur. And then we're going to bring in a little white, which I have to sharpen. Get the pink off of the edge. We really don't want a pink mouse. And we're going to go over some of these black lines. Just a few of them. It's just so it doesn't look like the black lines are there as much. And I'll just go over underneath them and add a black line with your pencil. And that really helps it look a little fluffy instead of um, the line work that was there on the page to begin with. Okay. Now we're going to get his eye done. <clears throat> My favorite thing to do is bring in the uh, Sakura Glaze Black. And we're going to go in and just put down a nice shiny black eye leaving a little around it that has to dry we can't do anything to it after it dries in fact i'm going to go ahead and do the other guy's eye so it will be dry when i get there as long as i don't put my hand in it <laughs> and then we will get him his um earring what did i do with my eraser Make sure there's a 
No color on your eraser, no color on the bits that we're going to do. Some of those can have hair in them, so don't mess with it too much there. Then we're going to add in, um, like we did down here, in the other one on the beads. Let me make sure I don't touch anything. Just a little green gold on that chain. And then we're going to color in the balls, that color. We're putting um, the diamond stickles over it, so all we need is a a resemblance of color on there. His earrings gonna have that. And then just a little shadow of, oh, I don't know. Let's grab one. Oh, burnt sienna. And we'll just put a little shadow on them. He's looking cute. So now we'll stick the uh, diamond stickles on it. go. He's all shiny. I think I'll put some in his tie down here. And get him all nice and shiny. Uh, later he'll get a little dot in his eye. Mouse down below is going to be done in brown. Same way. But if you need to see it, <laughs> you'll have to hold on a second. Let's see what colors I'm going to do him in is light brown. But we'll bring the same colors we had, minus the green gold. We do not want to turn him into a gold mouse. So kind of your generic browns. Ivory as a base, because um, that'll be our nice color. And that'll be the color that can shine through on everything. So we'll go ahead and put ivory down. Same way we did with the light uh, gray. Kind of go in the way the fur goes. I'm not going to see it too much on this one because this ivory doesn't show up very well. Put it in his tail. Wee. <laughs> I have a red smudge there I would like to get rid of so you don't have to stare at that. It's really not part of the mouse. Okay, then we'll bring in um, brown ochre. Uh, so, oh really bad for my brown ochre. It can barely fit into my uh, pencil sharpener. <laughs> In the direction the fur goes. Little pink feet.
Okay, then we'll bring in a little bit of raw umber. A little bit of burnt sienna that needs to be sharpened too. Darken it here behind him, leaving a little highlight at the tip top. Next color is Burnt Umber. Bring it in the white like we did before and get rid of some of the lines in here. Get gray on there, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. But because I wanted to make that leg fluffy, I have to kind of get rid of that line and then we're going to take out some of these. A whole bunch, just a few.
Okay, go back in. Burnt sienna. Then we're bringing a little walnut here. I think I'm going to take out that line. Bring that leg up a little higher. Excuse me, ivory in here. Okay, then I'm going to take a tiny bit of black if I can find it.
Okay, both of their eyes should be dry. If I can get one of these guys to work, we'll put a little dot in there. He's got some, and then we're going to get this guy. go. And then I have to come up with a background. Okay, everything's dry. What I'm going to do is try to see if these will get covered up with this white pencil. And if they won't, which doesn't look like it's going to happen, we're going to use the, um, I have another one of these. <clears throat> the fabric has still pip markers. So I have one in a chisel tip and uh, this is like a bullet tip. Let's we'll see how that does. Probably won't do too good on that one, but they'll lighten up enough. I can do a couple coats on this. So we're going to go around and do those. And then we're going to put uh, the stickles on them to make it sparkle. But like I said, a couple of coats and that will cover that up. So dabbing it's probably a better idea than um, drawing on it. But you get the daft all you get those all covered in white. You can use a Posca pen or um, any other pen you want to do on those. And I'm going to take a little of the uh, gray uh, that we used on this little guy over here, and we're going to put it underneath uh, some of these items. It's like a foot for these things to sit on. Uh, because I used uh, the stickles on these items, so we use this one first, and then we'll go in with the darker colors. Uh, because I use stickles on this, I can't really go over with ink. The ink blending tool will uh, catch on all that. You can hear the pencil doing that. So that was one. We'll go in with two. See how dark I want this. I'm using the side of the lead, not the tip. going around. Try not to touch too much of that red because you're going to bring the red out. Not a terribly big deal if you don't mind having a little bit of red in your gray. Just bring that up and get that underneath that leaf. Darkest gray. We're going to try to get that right underneath these. That'll help conceal that red there. And then we'll bring back in the light again. Make sure that gets blended out a bit. Okay, so that's all we need at the bottom. And like I said, all I'm going to do up 
here if I can get that to um, dry a little better. chisel tip would do. Oops, I don't know if my hair's been in that all the time, but just get those lighter. I'll turn the book here. So get up to these. show you what I'm gonna do with it. It's just taking the stickles A few more out here, you can. Like I said, it's really not going to matter how dark they are, it still will work on there, but I want to get them as light as I can. So we'll just go in. Yep, yeah, not with that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Get another little covering on these. And then just put the dots on them. put a little of this in the uh, leaves, kind of at the center of them. And on the rosebuds. Did I get them all? So that one down there at the bottom. There we go. And maybe some on the flower itself. Kind of down in the darker spots.
just to give them some sparkle too because the rest of the page has it. Yep, I'm thinking maybe, do I have a, ooh, are you gray? It's a nice soft gray in a pen form and we're just going to go around. See if we can get those any darker. And maybe the line's straighter. <laughs> And if it's not straight, make it all of it crooked. Yep, I'm going to call that. I like it. I like it simple with this the sparkles on it. I mean if you could see it and just looking for the sparkles. I wanted to put a few more down here, but that'll be it. <laughs> I'll take a picture and let you see it at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care everyone. Bye now.